Hi guys, welcome and welcome back. My name is Raquel Annette. Welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. If not, welcome back, Kel's crew. How are y'all doing? So as you saw by the title of the video, Natasha Denona decided to release some heat on us this summer, which was needed because 2020 has been driving everybody through the ring, right? I'm always super excited for Natasha Denona releases. She has never steered me astray. I'm literally to pan and almost everything that I've purchased from her. So I just felt like this would be another investment into this wonderful blended, uh, this wonderfully blended formula. So I went ahead and got it. I pre-ordered it with Beautylish. And if you're not familiar with Beautylish, if you think that Natasha Denona is a little bit too steep for your liking, you can go to Beautylish and actually purchase these things and break them down into payments. There's no credit check or anything. You just have to have like um, an actual bank account and then it breaks it down for you guys so you can get your hands on these things that you really want without breaking the bank and you know spending accordingly. So Natasha Denona just released this 15 pan shadow palette and it has matte shadows and it has metallic duochrome shadows and then chroma crystal eyeshadows as well. Um, if you've been a long time follower of me, you know that I love Natasha Denona. This is my first time reviewing something on the channel. So I wanted to get it expeditiously or whatever T.I. be saying and bring it on here for you guys and show you what we have going on. So if you're interested in seeing what I purchased, you're more than welcome to continue on watching. We're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Alright guys, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this review. Very excited about this. I actually pre-ordered this palette with Beautylish. I called my advisor and she put in the pre-order for me, so I got it a little bit earlier than it was available in stores, and I'm really excited about it. I think you guys know that I'm absolutely obsessed with the Natasha Denona, and even though my auntie does tax, it is well worth it. I've almost hit pan on everything that I've purchased from her. No lie, no shade. It's often abused and used. I really, really love it, and I was so excited for this. I hadn't gotten the last couple of palettes because I just felt as if I was drowning in palettes, but this one definitely called my name, and I had to get my hands on it. It's so pretty, loved the bronze. Had to get my hands on it and bring it under here for you guys. So this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes and I'm using the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake and this is in the shade Jamsterdam. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out with my Fenty Beauty Concealer Brush. And I do have the powder underneath my eyes because I do know that there is a little bit of fallout and I really, really don't want it to get on the rest of my face. All right, so that's all blended out on the lid. Now I'm gonna go in for a transition shade um, I'm gonna go ahead and reach. I think I'm gonna go ahead and reach into suntan. This is a suntan is a very very soft brown. I'm picking up my Morphe M330, and I don't have a oh, so it's a little bit darker than expected. That tends to happen with Natasha shadow, so I'm just going to work that in. Press it. Oh, it's really actually a chocolate shade. I thought it was a lighter brown, but it's more chocolate. Oh, it's really pretty. Buffed out, it's going to be sort of a deeper copper brown shade. That is so pretty. That is so cute. Okay, okay, Nadona Nona. I thought this was gonna be like a sandy brown. And then we're gonna just do both eyes. That is a perfect transition shade. That blends out. It goes on deep, but if you blow it out and you keep blending it, it definitely tapers out perfectly. I love Natasha shade. Her shadows just move. They just move around, not in the way that you would think, like if your foundation were to move if you didn't set it. I'm talking about these babies blend. They move. You just buff these out. They blow out so quick. You don't have to do all the arm work just to keep blending and blending and blending because one patch of shadow is just stuck in one place. That's what I really enjoy about her shadows. And I've forgotten about it until right now. Like once I pick up a Natasha palette sometimes, I'm just married to it and then I never use anything else. That, what, that's what happened to me for a long time. So I had to like psych myself out of using them for a little bit just so I could rotate some palettes. 
Anywho, we're gonna go ahead and use that same brush and I'm gonna pick up Magma. Now, seeing that Suntan was deeper than expected, I'm expecting this to be a little bit deeper as well. Now, this is a true brown red shade, so I'm just going to dip into it. Have about that much on the brush. I don't even wanna tap off any excess, I just wanna press it. Yeah, it's definitely deeper than I thought, or originally thought, but. And I'm just gonna set, push that into the crease halfway. Whoo, whoo, so pretty. And I'm blending, but I'm not taking it anywhere. I'm just buffing it out into the same space, if that makes sense. Just deepening the outer crease. I'm loving how it's looking already, y'all. So I think I might as well just try out the deepest shade called Deep Dive. And I'm just gonna take a pointed brush and put about that much on the tip. And deepen up the crease a little bit. Oh, that's so pretty. Even more than that. Just a little bit to intensify the depth. And just a little bit, like literally just touched, just a touch into the palette. That's how much deeper, that's how much I put deep dive in and it really made it pretty. It really complemented the two shades and I just put it right in the middle and it just deepened it a little bit and it looks so pretty. So of course we have to repeat the same spot. And again, I'm not bringing this color all the way in. I'm stopping halfway. I'm really just defining the outer, I'm really just defining the outer part of my crease. And there literally is no fallout. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dust away this powder because I'm baking a little bit longer than I would like to. So for the lid, there's just so many pretty shades to choose from. I'm going to be doing more than one look with this palette, of course. But for today, um, so I'm gonna put um, True Bronze in the middle of my lid. And I almost feel like this is a very light pressed glitter, more so than an actual shadow. You know what I mean? It's very, very light. I feel like I could have put something beneath it to make it pop more, and that is not taking anything away from it. It just means it's a really lighter formula for the shadow than expected. And I didn't cut the crease or anything because you don't have to cut the crease with every look. Contrary to belief. There's nothing wrong with cutting your crease, but I mean, you definitely can live without it. You don't, I mean, there's nothing wrong with cutting your crease. It's just, you don't have to do it every single time. And if you want to do it every single time, that's fine, but I don't do it every single time. I built that up. Um, this is like, you have to build up true bronze for sure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray so I can apply a third layer just to see if that's really how you're supposed to use it wet but right now I'm using them dry so that's the first and now I'm putting it on the second building that up okay so now I'm about to spray this brush When it was wet it actually muted the shine a little bit so i don't think that this one is actually supposed to be used wet you definitely can but it mutes the glitter out it's crazy that's like the first time I've, that's ever happened to me it's a very unique formula i'm taking silk with the same brush i'm just going to blend these two together 
Okay, so silk is the same formula as true bronze. So silk is um, a champagne gold and it really pops and it's really glittery. I'm glittery. It's really glittery. I'm not going to wet it again. I like the way it applies without being wet actually. And I just like to, I, want, I like to build these shadows up in layers because they really, really pop. And that's why I like the shadows. They don't get patchy. You can build these up. You can blend them with other shadows as much as you want. They're not going to stick or skip or any of that nonsense. And then whatever is left on my brush, I'm going to put underneath my brow and blend out. I'm not taking a, an entirely clean brush, I'm just going to blend up and out because I don't want there to be a harsh line where the highlighter is and I don't want to put any more color down. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and eye. Right now I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Hyper Easy Liner and I tried it in my last video and I really like it because it's so precise and easy to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes. All right, so I'm gonna take this Benefit Highbrow and this is a nude liner. I'm gonna line my eyes. Now with this pointed Sonia Kashuk blending brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take suntan and magma and put it underneath my eye again. Uh, there's a little bit of fallout. And then I bring magma as close to the waterline as possible. Okay, and I would add some glitter, but this is my first impression, so I think I'll save the glitter for the second video, but a touch of glitter on this will be so bomb. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face using my Black Radiance True Contour, I'm sorry, True Complexion Contour Palette. Now, um, to be honest, this is the only contour palette I use, like contour. I have a gazillion bronzers, but like I only use this bronzer. I just, I don't know, this is like the perfect color bronzer. It doesn't make me look muddy. It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's just amazing. And I've been using it for the longest, as you see, I've hit pan. It really is the perfect shade. All right, so I'm gonna add some color to my cheeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Natasha Denona Bloom palette and use that, it's so damaged y'all, I can't even hardly show it, but I'm gonna use this shade right here. And I'm gonna pull on that with my Edge Kabuki by Sigma, that's the F87. And it's like a triangular shape. It's just, you can use these brushes for everything, honestly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these lashes by Anti Skin. Um, and this is a black owned company. These are called Affiliate. This is her first launch for her line. So congratulations to you. I had to get some of these lashes, y'all, because they're so cute. Again, these, again, these ones are called Affiliate. All right, I'm gonna put mascara on first while this glue dries. This is the Fenty Beauty. Um, what is this called? What the? I always get it. Full frontal. Y'all, these are so fluffy and full. Okay, now onto the bronze cheek face glow palette. This is the packaging, y'all. So cute and reflective. This says. Pat the Bounce Cream Glow onto the highest point of the cheekbones using your fingertip. Follow applying the Bounce Cream Blush. Sorry, I did that. Whoops. 
and then the super glow bronze onto the lower point of the cheekbone. So it just gives you directions on the box. It shows you the shades, the ingredients, and how to use it. However, so there's four shadows in here, right? The top two are bounce, which means it's like a cream formula, and the bottom two are actual powders, pressed powders. For me, I'm just gonna take a teeny brush, um, and I guess I'm gonna press this one into the highest point of my cheekbones. And I can definitely see some reflection. I can definitely see, it's, as you guys can see, that one's like a super natural glow, like as if you were to sweat outside and it would just be a natural glow to your skin. So I'm gonna put that there, there. It's like a base for your highlighter. So now with this fluffy brush, I'm just going to go ahead and dip into super, what is it, super glow nude? And that's a light champagne-y, goldish shade. Um, I'm gonna mix that one of this cheek just to show you guys what that looks like. And then I'm going to use the Super, super Glow Bronze, the gold, gold one. And I'm gonna put that on the other cheek to see what we got going on. Ooh, so it's definitely two different finishes for sure. So, This one is more, of course, this is gold, and this is a champagne, so you have a lot of variety. You don't have to put down the base, you can just put whatever color you want. There's so many different color combinations, and it's very customizable for every skin tone, actually. So if you're darker than me, you should just go for the Super Glow Bronze. That was going to glow so beautifully on a deeply melanated freaking skin tone. Are you kidding? So I just mixed those two together, so I'm not going to mix the other two together and just have a highlighting concoction on my face because why not? Woo! I know people don't get like geeked over, but I still get geeked over the glow because it's just really pretty. It never gets old to me. I still like shining. All right, and then with the other side of this brush, I'm going to pick up the super glow nude and really just direct that on my Tin Man and up the bridge of my nose because I have to be very precise with those areas otherwise it's going to highlight that place that I don't want it to. And then I always like to hit a little bit on my nostril. My favorite Natasha Denona lip gloss. This is in the shade 15 powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the middle of my lip. It's the perfect gloss to match the KKW lipstick. It's the perfect combo. And to top off the lips, I'm gonna go ahead and top my lips just with the classic MAC lip gloss in clear. Super thick. All right, and now to set my face, I'll be using the Beauty Bakery. This is Sweet Grace setting spray. And it really smells like cake, y'all.
All right, guys, so that was my first impressions of the brand new Natasha Denona bronze palette. And I dipped into four shades. I swatched all of them. They're all highly pigmented. The, all of the shades that you see in the pan, they do come up a, a, a half a shade darker when it's applied to your eye with the base. So just keep that in mind and to be careful because they're very highly pigmented and I don't want y'all to get hurt, okay? <laughs> but as usual, I give this palette and bronze, customizing bronze highlighting palette, um, 10 out of 10. Um, really, really love the customizable and how she included that deep golden shade for our chocolate girls. And then she did include a lighter shade for our fair girls. So we can really customize and blend them to everyone's liking and we all have one big happy family thank you natasha let's do this 2020 okay i'm definitely going to be reaching into this for the rest of the summer the rest of the year because it is so pretty and yeah i just want to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch my review if you did enjoy it please give me two thumbs up I mean, give me a thumbs up. It helps me more than you know. It lets me know that you like what you're seeing and to bring more reviews onto my page. I mean, of course, if you didn't like it and you're still here, I don't know what's going on. What made you come to the end of the video? Just give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Stay around a while. Stay around and watch a couple of other videos. Check me out. Get to know me. Thank you so much again for the view. Oh, again, thank you so much for watching the video. Sending you guys love and light. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.